This is the EXM Free Utility, a tool which will boost your FPS and decrease your input delay in any game. And today I'll be showing you how to download and properly use it. But before we start, I want to tell you guys about an even better utility. This is the EXM Premium Tweaking Utility, and it includes over 10 times more tweaks as the Free Utility. So if you notice a difference after using our Free Utility, then our Premium Tweaking Utility will help you so much more. We have over 3,500 positive customer reviews on our website and Discord server combined. Make Make sure to check out exmtweets.com to unlock your full potential and join our over 20,000 satisfied customers. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So for that, you just have to join our Discord server, which is linked in the description, and head over to the free tweaking utility category. So this video is about version 9.1. If there's a newer version out, of course, feel free to use that. I'm just going to be pressing the download link, which will take you straight to a Google Drive. And from there, you just have to right click on the XM free tweaking utility and press download. And while it's downloading, please like and subscribe for more free tweaks which will boost your fps and decrease your latency so the download will show on the top right corner right here so all you have to do is just press on it like this press the extract button and boom you have it so first right click on it and run it as administrator it will open this little menu and then on the welcome screen press any key to continue and now it's time to make a restore point which will allow you to revert the utility if you don't like the results so for that you just have to press one followed by enter and it will create a restore point right so it made one successfully just press ok on the pop-up and now we will scan for resources which are files used by the utility such as the power plan which need to be downloaded and since this is a new version you will get this little pop-up so just press ok don't worry all of these files are completely safe and you can find them in the exm folder in your c drive so we just finished downloading your resources so press ok and boom now we're in the menu so the first category that we have is general system optimizations before we start if you need to like revert or fix anything just press f and it will take you here in quick fixes you can enable stuff such as bluetooth etc as many people ask me how to enable bluetooth after but you can do it right here so the first category is going to be general system optimizations so for that press one followed by enter and boom in here press one followed by enter again it will do some general system optimizations in the registry and after that it will open this little menu where you can toggle animations so in here just copy my settings so make sure show thumbnails and strobe icons is checked this is checked and this is checked after that just press apply so in here press one if you're on windows 11 and two if you're on Windows 10. Boom. So after that, it will open the MSI mode utility. And in here, I would recommend checking MSI mode on almost every device except audio controllers. Also, the inter priority should be set to undefined. But if on some devices it is set to high automatically, I would keep it at that. Some devices may have it set to high by default, which I would just leave it at that. But if your GPU has it set to high, I would change it back to undefined as high may cause FPS stutters for some people. And I would generally just recommend using undefined. Fine. You can always test it out as high gives slightly less latency, but it's not worth it if you get FPS drops. Anyways, just press apply and exit out. And yeah, that's everything for general system optimizations. So after that, we have the power category and a little warning before we get to that. Do not do it if your PC has overheating issues or if you're on a really low end laptop. If that's the case, uh, you can just skip and go to the third category. But for those who don't have overheating issues, just press one enter and press OK on the little warning. So in the power category, you have six different options, but I'll personally just be pressing the apply all button and first it will import the free power plan which is the new version and for that you just have to simply select it i'll still stick to using my premium power plan as it's better but don't get me wrong the free one is amazing as well anyways if you have any extra power plans just press on change plan settings and delete this plan and yeah after that you can just close it then you have the option to delete default power plans which come with windows automatically i already have them deleted so i'll be skipping that and afterwards all you have to do is just select whichever type of gpu you have so here i have an nvidia gpu so I'm going to be pressing one and that will disable some power saving features for that specific GPU. So we have some general mouse and keyboard registry optimizations. Boom. And after that, we have setting keyboard and mouse that queue size. So in here, we have three different options. And the way you find out whichever one of these you should use is by pressing T to open task manager in here, go to performance and find your CPU right here and just comment your CPU down below on this video. And I'll tell you whichever one of these you should use. So after that, you can just close it and use the option, which I told you to use. It may take a while for me to reply 
so just open the utility again and then select an option usb optimizations just press 3 and enter so the next category is just gpu optimization which is really simple here same as with that one tweak in power all you have to do is just select whichever type of gpu you have which i have an nvidia one first it will apply an nvidia profile inspector which will optimize your control panel 3d settings so now you have the option to enable or disable hardware acceleration which i highly recommend disabling it as for 90 percent of people your performance will be better when it's disabled you can feel free to test it but if you don't i would just recommend pressing one which is recommended so the next category is cpu optimizations and same as with power optimizations i don't recommend doing them if you have overheating issues on your pc or you're on a really low-end laptop but yeah just press five and enter and in here just select whichever type of cpu you have i have an intel cpu so i'm going to pressing two and boom so afterwards we have pc clean just press six and here you first clean some temporary device data boom and after that we have windows clean manager which in here make sure your c drive is selected it should by default press ok and here select everything except directx shader cache as unless you have any issues with your gpu you don't need to clear it afterwards we have system debloat which this category will just allow you to remove certain features which you don't need or don't use so you have the option to apply all tweaks which you can do but i'll personally just be going through these one by one so first we have disable game dvr game board and xbox so just press one and enter if you want to do that afterwards we have and tracking boom then you can toggle bluetooth so here you can disable or enable it i'll be disabling it as i don't use it personally so then yeah then you can disable printing and maps if you don't use that after you have the option to toggle mitigations which are certain security features against memory based attacks they come at a pretty big performance cost but they're not that important so unless you go on many shady websites and download a lot of stuff then uh, you can feel free to disable them after that we have disable diagnostics and error reporting so if you don't use microsoft store you can disable it right here as well next we have disabling hyper virtualization so if you don't use virtual machines on your pc then you can feel free to disable it i don't use them on this specific pc so i'll do it after that we have auto run so in this app make sure to go to the logon category that is very important and in here just disable everything which you don't want automatically starting up when you turn on your pc for me personally i keep everything disabled except this security registration also if you use an antivirus which isn't windows defender then make sure to check it as well after that we have windows update blocker which this little app will just allow you to enable or disable windows updates because windows updates can just randomly sort up in the background while you're playing and that will completely kill your performance after that we have disabling smart screen which uh disables specific security feature and then we have uninstall useless apps after that we have uninstall useless apps via settings so this will just allow you to go into settings if you don't use anything right here then just press on this and uninstall it so after that you have the option to uninstall microsoft edge uh here you can either uninstall or install it and then you can uninstall cortana and copilot so yeah that's everything for dbload so after that we have storage optimizations and the first thing that we're going to be doing is trimming and defragmenting your drives so this will just defragment your boot drive and if it takes too long then just close the utility the first option will just trim your boot drive the second one will enable user write cache the third option will just optimize the nt file system so the last two options are only for people who have a ssd as their boot drive so if you use a hard drive as your boot drive then don't use these i'm just gonna do them boom that's everything for storage afterwards we have memory optimizations this is a really simple one you just select how much ram you have if for some reasons you have a different amount of ram like 96 gigabytes then just use the next highest option so for 96 gigabytes of ram you would use 128 i have 32 gigabytes of ram i'm gonna be using that and boom so the last option is going to be the exm network utility for that you just press 10 and it will take you right here and here just press t to open the tutorial and this video will show you exactly how to use this utility so follow that and yeah after you're done with that make sure to restart your pc so the tweaks properly save anyways thank you guys for watching that's everything for today's video and yeah have an amazing day